Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Ba-doom. All right, so yes. we're going to actually continue something that we were talking about in yesterday's episode. <laughs> so the end I said had a kind of a tie-in. Like, I read this comment on Reddit um, okay. a while back. And it, it really kind of spoke to me in a weird way, and I don't and I don't know if this is a sign that I'm a piece of crap, <laughs> or so it, I don't even remember what the ask Reddit, whatever the ask Reddit um, question was. But in the comments, someone said, "Part of the reason why I ended my previous relationship." was because I realized that I wouldn't want to be with my significant other if she gained too much weight or cut her hair in a way that I didn't like. Do you, do you know why I felt okay with breaking things off? Because I realized that these things wouldn't be a problem for me if I was with someone I truly loved. I was only in the relationship for the sex. It was shallow as hell, and I needed to stop wasting her time. And then the, I just thought the, best, the first mm. comment underneath that was, this is a hell of a lot, a hell of, a lot of self-awareness for Reddit. <laughs> and that made me laugh. <laughs> so I saved the comment, too. But, you know, it's like mm. I was thinking about that, and I'm like, obviously – when you when you meet someone new and you're and you're like oh I would like to try to talk to them mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's a level of attraction yeah and you can like try to fool yourself all day and say that looks don't matter they absolutely do to a point right yeah, yeah like you're not just gonna walk in and find like someone who's and just be like because there has to be something that draws you to them and obviously the physicality is the first part of it so okay. I'm like man. I think about all the relationships I had. I'm like, did I like them for who they were or was I sexually attracted to them? And that was our main driver. Is that why we're not together? Because we couldn't work through our problems. Cause all I really cared about was the sex or, and like, did what, if they gained weight, would I still want to be with them? If they, if they cut their hair, like I was like, Oh my God, I don't want to have this much self-awareness. So I figured I'd bring it up. Cause it kind of tied into what we were talking about. This one's, this is hard for me. Um, I guess on the same note, like, what if a person changes their personality? Because people change over time. And yeah. And that's, that's 100%. I find that the reason that the majority of my past relationships have ended is because of that aspect of change more than it would be an, an outward appearance. Yeah, I agree. Because, well, because here's the thing, too, that it, well, there's that's kind of a two-parter. Because I feel like that's why relationships are hard to maintain for 50 years. Because the chances that you're the same person you are... 50 years later, slim to, slim to none. Yeah, essentially, you want to grow together. And Quotation that, fingers and that was my all point. over that. Be, well, and that's actually very true because, you know, most people, what well, games, I don't know, I, at least I, I would assume most people want to, like, realize they have issues, try to get better, work through their issues, learn new skills, whatever. So say you meet someone and you both are kind of shitty people. And like one of you is like, I want to get better. I want, and the other one does is not in a growth mindset at all. That relationship will fail, thousand yeah. percent. Yeah. And so there is truth to that. If you're not both growing, you're failing. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I I'm the last person that needs to give anybody any advice on relationships. <laughs> right, so right. I feel you. It's, it's a very hard subject for me. Uh, I can only talk from my own personal like viewpoint and perspective on it. And I guess I would not. I'm not as long as like it's not out of control. Like if it's like okay, you put on 20 pounds is different from you are putting your life in danger because of the amount you're eating at this point in your life. Right, right. That's right, right. a little bit different. That, that that's indicative of a change in in uh, my mindset or personality. It's like when I met you, you were uh, 150, 160 pounds, and now you're 300. Well, right. Like, that's you, that's a mental issue. Right. Right. Well, yeah, because you could be like, well, I met you. You were 150, 160. You were going to the gym. I go to the gym. It was kind of like we both liked to work. We didn't go to the gym together, but we were both kind of cared about our bodies and doing whatever. And then now you literally sit around and just eat pizza all day long and to put on – you've doubled your weight. Yeah. And I'm still going to the gym. I'm still eating right. Like, so, yeah, like developing an eating disorder is is, is kind of a, 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 fu- a fucked up reason to leave somebody. But on the same note, it's like you didn't sign up for that in the beginning. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Cause, know. Cause, and that's the same thing. Know. Like, well, what if you're like, what if you're dating a girl and she has a stroke and now, and now she can't, she can't talk. She can't use half her body and you've, and now like, it's different if, uh, if you've been with her for like a decade. Right. And that's like your person uh. or, but like you're dating her for, you've, you've been with her for a month. Uh. And, like, so you're, it still makes you look like an asshole. There's no way right? you're not going to, you're not look. Okay. So I'm dating a girl. It's scenario time. I'm dating a girl. She has a stroke after me dating her for six months. 
and t- a terrible situation. She is no longer the same person. Is anybody going to look at you any differently for being like, look? Here's where I think the difference falls in. I, I mean, and these conversations shouldn't be happening at six months anyways. But if you're going around telling your friends, like, I think we're going to get married, da, 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 da. six months? We're, we're planning. Right. We're planning a life together. And then it happens and you dip. They might go. Bro, you were planning on marrying this person. Yeah, that was. Ooh. Right. But if you would, if it was like, yeah, most people, and you've really helped me open my eyes to the point of like, bro, you've only known this person for a month or two. Like, you don't owe them anything. <laughs> they don't like, owe you shit. That, you don't owe them. And shit. like, I'm a kind person. I don't like to make people hurt, especially if I care yeah. about them in general. But you, you make a very valid point when you say that. It's, it's, what do you owe someone after what amount of time? And that is the. I, I can tell you this much, Jonas. Uh, you, you don't owe that person a dime. You don't owe that person an iota of anything, even after you've known them for 20, 30 years. You don't. You don't owe me jack shit. We have we have a, a, a relationship where, like, we have expectations of each other because we've met and we've met expectations in the past. And I have enough love and respect for you as a human being where I would never do anything to be detrimental to the relationship and we have an understanding but if an opportunity were to come up where it was advancement for you and it left and it left me behind or vice versa i would want i would the last thing i want is for you to think that something was owed to me in order for you to achieve something that was beneficial for you and right right and I your life you. still comes before mine you jump in front of a bullet from me i'm going to smack you from the grave <laughs> i am you'll be at the funeral going this mother effer saved it killed himself to save me you Why? dumbass <laughs> right, right. Well, <laughs> you, well, you know and, and believe like, me i'm going to jump in front of a few but yeah I, right right no yeah. but i feel you though because it's like yeah like we like we do this channel we have expectations and we're going to record and we're going to do this stuff but like if tomorrow you you were like, yo, yeah. somebody, somebody was like, hey, I'm going to pay you six figures to move to Tennessee. And I'm like, hey, I got to take that job, hey, homie. Like, I'll see you. I'll be like, <laughs> we can <laughs> still try to do it online. <laughs> figure, figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure out, out somebody to take your portion of the lease, please, before yeah. you go. Yeah. Like, we'll, but like, we'll it would be, it yeah, I wouldn't be, I would have any sort of negative in my heart for you at all. I'd be like, well, hey, man, he tried to do him. Yeah. And I, you know, I have a, I have like, I, I, I realize that I have a skewed way of looking at things sometimes. A lot of people, when they look at, at friendship, they're like, no, you owe your friends a certain degree of respect. Um, yes. You do. Right. You do. Uh, you owe you owe every human being that you meet a certain degree of respect. If there's anything that you do owe people, you do owe them your respect until it's violated. You owe you owe a stranger your respect. Exactly. Until until it's violated. Exactly. So they give you a reason to not be respectful to them. Exactly. But on the same note, you don't owe them jack shit. Right. Well, <laughs> well, at what point, I guess, at what point does this person you're dating become someone that, like, you don't owe anything to, to someone that, like, you actually owe something to them? Like, at what point does that flip? I flip? I have to say is that when you, if, if you, if you, if you have officially consummated the relationship, um, there are certain things that is that are expected right, out right. of a role. So if you're a boyfriend, certain things are expected out of the role of boyfriend for you to do, and you you got to come up together with that with your partner. But uh, I feel like I'm contradicting myself. No, because I don't even believe that shit. I'm spitting right now. Yeah, you don't owe him nothing till you're married. When you put a ring on your finger, then you owe him something. Guess what, Jodas? Boyfriends cheat. Girlfriends cheat. Husband shouldn't. Is it owed? No, it is expected. It is expected behavior is what it is. It is not owed behavior. I don't owe you anything. I give it to you out of the goodness of my heart, out of the the generosity that I have inside of me, and you respect that, and you reciprocate by giving me the same type of behavior back. But nothing is owed. Right. Right. Well, and you know, and and that and that kind of runs into like. That's kind of where a lot of my relationships have fell apart. If I think about it at the root cause, it starts to be a what I consider disrespectful behavior. Yes. But you know what I mean? Like yes. if things start happening, I'm just like, you don't owe me the I mean, you don't feel you owe me the decency to like for this or that or with the whatever. And, and that's where the the crumbling starts happening. Yeah, like yeah. I will give you all the respect. I'll respect your boundaries. I'll respect what you yeah. know. But if like you don't give me that back, that that will crumble the foundation yes. faster than anything. A hundred percent. 
and it don't matter how long I've been with you. Like I've been you five years, you start disrespecting me and like not treating me and giving me general respect as a human. <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> like that's where it starts, man. And it's it's weird. So yeah, you got you have to demand your respect, man. So demand it. Yeah, exactly. And not in like an ignorant like you must respect me because I'm a no, no. I like that. <laughs> Whatever Get the fuck. I no, like that. So, anyways, uh, go to crazynow.com to subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh, uh, we out.